Hello friends, this video on biological classification part 4 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So let us see what is there inside this kingdom Monera. So when I say Monera, basically this kingdom includes all bacteria. So only the bacteria have occupied one complete kingdom. That's because bacteria are very different than all other organisms which we see. If you compare bacteria which are small organisms or microorganisms with other microorganisms also, you will see that bacteria have got all different characteristics than them. So that is why we had to create a separate kingdom to accommodate bacteria and that kingdom is Monera. So Monera is nothing but the kingdom of bacteria. Now, even inside bacteria, you will have many different types of bacteria. So, let us see. What do we have here? Oldest life forms, as we all know. When we were talking about evolution, what did we see? We saw that each and every living organism which we see today, they have evolved from some old organism which was earlier existing on Earth. That is how so many variety of organisms have actually come up. So, bacteria is one of the oldest life forms. So, people say that all these variety of life forms which we see today, including we human beings, everything has come up from some ancient life form, something like bacteria. So, it is one of the oldest life forms. These are prokaryotes, that is no defined cell organelles or nucleus. So that is one of the important characteristic of bacteria. If you look at, if you consider any bacteria, they will not have any specific no defined cell organelles inside their cell. No specific uh, um, endoplasmic reticulum, no specific Golgi apparatus, no specific ribosomes, they will not have specific organelles. So everything is just scattered inside the cytoplasm. That is how bacteria are. And that is why they needed a separate kingdom. Because if you look at most of the other life forms, they, are, they all fall under the category of eukaryotes. So monera are all prokaryotes. They are unicellular, made up of one cell. So the moment the number of cells in an organism changes, the entire structure the entire life cycle of that organism changes because here there is just one cell so this single cell will perform all types of vital activities that are needed for the survival of the organism right so we have to group it separately some of them are autotrophic while others are heterotrophic so it is not necessary that they will all be autotrophic but still some of them are what is autotrophic auto means self so they can prepare their own food. So they are not dependent on others. So autotrophic, again, they can. there can be two types of autotrophic. One is photosynthetic autotrophic. The other is chemosynthetic. Photosynthetic. Photo means light. Synthesis means to prepare. So that means to prepare their own food in presence of light. So this is light. Photo means light and synthesis means to prepare. Similarly, chemosynthetic. Chemo means chemicals. Synthesis means to prepare. So to prepare their own food with the help of chemicals that is chemosynthetic. So now bacteria can be auto, can be photosynthetic autotrophs. That, that means like plants, they can also prepare their own food with the help of sunlight or they can be chemosynthetic. That means with the help of some chemicals. So, which chemicals are we talking about here? We will discuss that later. So, for now, you can just understand that they can be autotrophic. They can also be heterotrophic. That is, they will not at all prepare their own food. They will depend on others for their food. Maybe they will consume some other organisms or they will consume the food prepared by some other organisms. As I said, whenever we talk of Monera, they include nothing else but bacteria. Now, when I talk of bacteria, they appear in a variety of shapes and sizes because the first thing that comes to our mind whenever we talk about any living organism is, how do they look? We, because we all are curious to know what are those organisms because we do not see these organisms with our naked eye in our day-to-day -day life. If, for example, if I tell you that um, 
and let us say I'm talking about some X Y Z kingdom, and I say that it includes all the cats and the dogs. So you will not be much surprised because you already have an idea in your mind that how a cat looks or how a dog looks. But when I talk of bacteria, it is something which we do not see with our naked eye. So people have this curiosity in mind to know how do they look like. So when you talk of bacteria, they actually appear in a variety of shapes and sizes. It, they do not have a spe specific uh, structure. If you talk about their habitat, where do we find bacteria? You can find bacteria almost everywhere. You can find them in water. You can find them in hot springs. That means at such high temperatures you can find them. You can also find them in snow where the temperature is extremely cold. You can find them in deserts where there is lack of water. You can even found, find them in water where there is so much of water. So you can find them almost everywhere. They also live in plant or animal bodies. So as I said, since you can find them almost everywhere, that everywhere also includes some other living organisms body. In, even inside human bodies, bacteria live, right? We, we often hear, hear of um, a person suffering due to bacterial infection. So how does a bacterial infection occur? Because the bacteria enters your body and then it causes some kind of infection somewhere or the other. Now, it doesn't mean that if a bacteria enters your body, it is surely going to cause an infection. But what I'm trying to say is a bacteria is capable of living inside another plant or animal's body. It can also live in symbiosis. What is symbiosis? A new term introduced here. It is a relationship of mutual benefit between two organisms. Sometimes it can also live inside another organism in such a way that it will not cause any harm to the organism. Instead, it will help or it will give some benefit to that organism and also take some benefit from that organism. Okay, so this was a brief introduction about bacteria. What are they? Where do we see them? How do they look like? Now, as I said, since this bacteria have a variety of shapes and sizes, so based upon the different shapes, bacteria are classified into four types. Cocos, Bacillus, Vibrium, and Spirillum. So these are the four types of bacteria based upon their different shapes. So now the name itself will give you a hint about the type of shape which they have. Cocos, that is spherical. So it is something like a sphere. So here at the top you can see the Cocos bacteria. So let us see it one by one. So this is cocos, the spherical shaped bacteria. Bacillus, that is the cylindrical one, so tube-like structures, these are bacillus. Vibrium is comma shaped. Comma we all know, right? This is a comma. So if you look at these bacteria, they resemble somewhat the shape of comma. So they are vibrium. And the last one is spirillum, that is spiral. So here you can see they are spiral structures, wavy structures. So they are called spirillum. So these are the four types of bacteria based upon their different shapes. So now we will talk about, as I said, even in this category of bacteria, you have so many different types of bacteria. So even in that also, it is not that we still now we got some general characteristic of bacteria. But that doesn't mean that all types of bacteria will follow the same characteristic. So that is why we will also study specifically some groups of bacteria and we will see that how do they differ from each other. So some of the important groups of bacteria which we will be talking about are Archibacteria, Eubacteria, Mycoplasmas. We will also talk about Cyanobacteria and E. coli. These are some of the important bacteria or some of the important groups of bacteria. If we talk about groups, this Archibacteria and Eubacteria, these are two important groups of bacteria. So let us try to study each of these types of bacteria in detail. So we will see. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more videos, attempt free online test, get free study material, find tutors and mentors. Thank you once again.